Hi everybody and welcome back to Lost Genre Reddit Stories. The first part of this video is made by the curation of three different posts that OP made in the span of three months that sets the tone for his whole story. Then we've got the update and the final update. So let's get started with the first part. This post is from the subreddit Relationships and it's by user Throwaway and some numbers. I, 26 male, threw my pregnant girlfriend, 22 female, out because she refuses to pay rent on her share of the bills. Long story short, my girlfriend and I have been living together for around 10 months. When she first moved in, she insisted on paying rent, and I was reluctant to charge her if it didn't work out, but she forced it and paid a month. Then, I found out she was struggling for money, unable to pay for things, in a lot of debt and living month to month. She agreed with me that she'd start when she clears the debt. Fast forward to Christmas and I found out she's been stealing my clothes to give to her family as gifts. It all started on Christmas Eve. I discovered my clothes and trainers in the wardrobe had been moved around. Not something I'd have done. I knew she'd been wrapping gifts for her family in there. My first instinct was she'd been going through it to find something to give her brothers, as most of it still has tags on. That night, I, wrongly, looked through her Facebook messenger and she was taking pictures of my trainers asking her mom if her brothers would fit them because I don't like them. Then she said, I'll wrap them up then. She was also asking if the exact size of my clothes would fit her brother, which made me think she'd stolen other things. I confronted her about it that night and told her exactly what I saw. That my clothes had been moved around and the messages of her taking photos of my trainers. She said her mom was asking what trainers I wore to buy me some. What she didn't expect was for me to pull up the screenshots with her reply saying she's going to start wrapping them and asking them if they'll fit her brother. She then admitted she was going to but realized it was wrong and it wasn't because I confronted her about it. I looked at her phone the next day while she was sleeping to see if there was any mention of anything that's been taking and she told her mom he wants to keep the trainers now with all previous messages deleted. She kept denying it was because I confronted her that she didn't give them away and she's denying she's stolen anything else, saying I'm blowing it up into something it isn't and she'd never steal. She said the reason she asked was because she gave a gift intended for me to her brother, but she's refusing to show me the transaction or receipt for that. I told her that unless I see proof she's bought gifts for her brothers herself, I'm going to presume she's a thief and that she's stolen from me. She was adamant she hadn't and that I was being pathetic. She'd show me proof, but not when I asked for it and in her own time. That was the last straw for me. So I asked her to back up and leave. She had somewhere safe to go because she could stop with her family. I was then called dramatic and basically the one who was in the wrong. She's pregnant and for the sake of the child I've been trying to work things out. But that was the last straw for me at the time. She then told me that she'd cancelled the baby's scan to go away and live with her sister. I was pathetic, she was not lying but couldn't show me the receipt. And if I was breaking up with her, she was free to do what she wanted. She said I had no proof despite my seeing the messages. This is the way she acts to most things when she's in the wrong. Manipulation and not accepting fault for days where I'll refuse to speak to her. She is caring and hasn't really given me other reasons not to trust her, but this has broken my trust massively. I've given her numerous chances to own up. I've told her I know what she did, whether she admits it or not, but at least if she admits it, I can consider her a more honest person. After I asked her to leave, she kept coming back night after night for clothes, so I told her to take everything because that's it. I told her if she can't show me she's decent enough to own up to what she has done, then there's no chance for us. I later got a text telling me I was a piece of crap, she was considering terminating the baby, and she couldn't believe I cared so little about her to be moving on. She said I've caused her stress when she's pregnant. She lied for two weeks blaming me until I showed her footage from the camera in the living room to watch the dog when I'm out of her taking the things. 
Anyway, fast forward two months after Christmas and I discovered through letters and texts I've seen appear on her phone that she's been doing nothing to pay off any of her debt. So I confront her. She tells me and shows me messages that her mother and sisters constantly guilt trip her into giving them money and have done so for years. They'll message her on payday asking for it and she feels bad saying no despite none of them ever paying it back. Her mom alone owes her over 6,000 pounds. She has taken a ton of loans out for her family and they leave her with the debt and she doesn't pay it back. Her credit is now at the point where nobody will loan to her but she still tries and does it for them. I also found out, I went through her finances, yes I shouldn't have but something wasn't adding up and I was being lied to. That in the space of 20 minutes she spent 300 pounds on gambling sites. During this time, she hasn't been paying a penny for rent, bills or anything else. She'll occasionally buy food shopping or trips out to Starbucks. I tell her enough is enough and she needs to start paying her way. If she can give handouts to her family and gamble, she can pay for where she lives and she's taken me for a ride when she should have been saving and clearing debts. I make roughly five times what she does but I've been fair in that the bills are split proportionally by income. She'll earn 1400 pounds per month and pay 600 pounds, which includes rent and her share of the bills. I take on the rest, which is substantially more expensive, but I believe it's not fair to take more. On the first of the month, she tells me she can't pay rent. She says she's paid out too much on our trips to Starbucks and food shopping and I'll get it when I get it. But she doesn't understand why I need it this month when she's lived for free the past nine months anyway. I've asked her to explain where her money has exactly gone but she tells me I'm controlling and it's none of my business. In fairness, she will pay when we go food shopping but rarely in comparison to me. So after all that, I've permanently kicked her out since yesterday and told her she needed to find somewhere to live. She is, however, pregnant and she's using that card as a way to guilt trip me and make it out that I've thrown her and my child onto the streets. I think she is taking me for a ride and prioritizing her family, which is using her over her own family, which she started. What's the solution here to getting her to see she's not treating me fairly? Well, OP, this whole thing sounds like a huge mess and I think you're asking the wrong question. It's not about how she's treating you unfairly or not, it's about do you really want to spend the rest of your life attached to a person like this? I understand she's pregnant and that it's your baby, maybe you want to take a test to make sure of that, but still, if it is your baby, you will be linked to this person, but you do not have to be married, you just need to be a responsible co-parent. And I might go as far as to say that maybe you should be the one fighting for custody of this baby because your hopefully future ex-girlfriend is definitely incapable of taking care of another human life. And by the sounds of it, neither is her family. If I was in your shoes OP, I'd go to a lawyer to see what my options are regarding that baby after I know that it is my child. But your girlfriend or hopefully future ex, there's not a snowball chance in hell I would trust her. And what do you guys think about OP's situation? Let me know in the comments section and now let's move on to the community comments to see what they said. Trashmouth says, Should have cut that cord a long, long time ago when you found out she was stealing your things to sell or give them away. Not great to get a girl like that pregnant because now you have to stick around. She will find a place to go but you should definitely have a consultation with a lawyer if you want custody of the child. Magician OK6393 says, All this and you knocked her up. You're stuck with her in your life for the next couple decades. Be more discerning before jumping into bed on board. Use birth control with every woman you decide to shtuck in the future. Protect yourself. Learn from this. She's a user, liar, thief, and soon mother of your child. And Jen5872 says, She is however pregnant and she's using that card as a way to guilt trip me and make out I've thrown out her and my child onto the streets. Well, you did throw her and your unborn child out. You told her to leave. That's just the unmistakable fact of the situation. Whether it was justifiable is the case to make to her and those who criticize your decision. Quote, she was taking advantage of me because she's a gambling addict and her family treats her like an ATM." End quote. 
Additional information from OP's comments. She told me that if I don't trust her telling the truth about my baby, then I don't deserve to have it in my life and she'll never let me see it. The child is the priority for me, but still, I want her to admit what she has stolen. Even after confronting her, she's making out I'm deluded. And after telling her I've seen her already talking about taking my stuff, she just keeps saying, yeah, but I didn't. She's weirdly hung up on the fact that she didn't actually steal. That's the lie she's going with and that's all she keeps repeating. From what I know, her background is bad. She struggles and seems embarrassed about it. I have never judged her or spoken down to her. I've always told her I'm here to help, but she just doesn't ask or accept it. Her thought process was probably that I wouldn't notice or suffer from losing what she took and it was a fix for getting her brother's gift. I do feel bad for her because she probably feels she was forced into the position she was in, but at the same time, she's stolen from me and I should have been able to trust her. OP's comment update. She's admitted to taking clothing today and has apologized. Told me she never asks for help because she thinks I'll think less of her for having no money and that she understands if I want nothing to do with her again. She said she strongly denied it out of embarrassment. I weirdly have sympathy for her, but at the same time, I don't know if I can trust her again. Her commitment to the lie is worrying. Well, the community is pointing out to OP all of these red flags, but apparently OP's glasses aren't tinted pink, they're tinted red because he can only see white flags here. Still, we have the update and the final update, so let's move on with the first one to see what happened next. I sat her down and gave her an ultimatum early last week. I explained to her that we were a family and became a family when she decided to have a baby with me. I told her that if we're going to stay together, she's going to have to be a lot more open. I told her she would need to contribute and no more taking on debt she can't afford, which brings it to my door when she can't pay. I also told her I wanted to see her bank statements because I suspect she has a gambling problem and is in some serious debt. She agreed to all of this and committed to showing me the bank statements when I asked and said going forward she'll pay towards the bills. I believed she's turned a corner and I started getting along with her better so she moved back in. But then, as I was sitting next to her phone last night when she went to grab a drink, her phone lit up with a text message. It read, Loan accepted by ex lender. Click here to accept. I immediately called her out and she started crying, telling me she had no money left again for the month and she'd had to resort to payday loans for some money. I told her she should have come to me and reminded her I explicitly said no more loans. She tells me she won't be able to afford to pay the bills again. She works full time and brings home around 1400 to 1200 pounds a month, depending on hours. But a lot of the time, she phones sick, so she gets sick pay, which is a lot less. I asked to see her bank statements and she refused, telling me I was being controlling and asking when she's told me and I don't need to see them. That's the last straw for me. Man, this is like your third last straw. Come on, OP. I'm almost certain she's been giving it away again at this point or gambling. I give her a scenario. Your baby is starving and needs food and there's none in the house. What are you going to do? She replies, you'll have to pay. I tell her, that's fine. I'll happily support my son because the mother is clearly a deadbeat. So I asked to see her Facebook messenger to see if her family has been hitting her up for free money again. Conveniently, all of the family members who borrow from her have the chats cleared. She says she deletes them to be tidy, yet mine's still there. I told her this wasn't going to work and she told me I was a controlling freak basically and she agreed and I've not heard from her since. The moral of the story is she's too damaged from her upbringing, I'm guessing, and some people just can't change. She still messages me asking how I am, but I'm just ignoring her except for anything baby related. I need to move on. I know a lot of people questioned whether she was pregnant, how stupid I was to get her pregnant, I agree, and if it was mine. I've been to every scan so I know she's pregnant, as for if it's mine, I've never suspected cheating but she's a serial liar, so I will be forcing a DNA test through the courts. I wish this wasn't true, believe me, but my focus is now getting as far away as possible from her for my own sake. 
Well, OP, it took you a while, but eventually you got there, thankfully. So now let's move on to the final update to see how this story ends. After a couple of weeks of learning she was sleeping around on family members or friends' sofas, I allowed her back into the house given that she is pregnant. Around a month ago. Out of concern for the baby, really, given she's now eight months pregnant. Stupid on my part, and I'm now going to explain why I regret it. I've recently moved houses a couple of months ago, and she was involved in the packaging and unpackaging whilst I was out. Mainly unpacking. I had a pretty large stack of cash in the drawer of a cabinet in the living room, around 400 to 500 pounds. This was a Christmas gift from my parents. During this time, I also sold a lot of old furniture, including a sofa which she begged and begged for me to sell it to her mother. I begrudgingly accepted this. She told me her mother had asked to borrow the money from her repeatedly to buy it from me and asked if she could pay a couple of weeks after she took it. No biggie, that's fine, I tell her. Her mother collects the sofa, giving me £100 cash initially and tells me the rest will be with me in a week. A week comes round and she tells me it'll be next month, but she's not happy as it's collapsed and I need to come take a look. I tell her it was fine when she collected it and I'm not taking a look. Basically, if you don't want it, I'll collect it and sell it to someone who wants to pay. She tells me I'm not welcome in their house. My girlfriend, ex, told her there was nothing wrong with the sofa at all when it was collected and her mother tells her she's also not welcome. My ex then flips it on to me, telling me I'm controlling and she didn't need to get involved to fall out with her family. I didn't make her, but I told her it showed where her priorities lie when she's defending them and not wanting to get involved over them screwing me over. It was left at that. Back to the money. I went to see where the money went and searched the entire house. It's not there, but everything that was unpacked was there. Even pointless crap like a blown light bulb was packed and unpacked. I ask her where the money is and she immediately gets defensive. Tells me, it's somewhere. And immediately I think, this is all the same answers as the last time. It then dawned on me that the money I was gifted was in 10 pound notes. And the money I was part paid for my sofa was also in 10 pound notes. So my suspicion is she stole my money for her to hand to her mother to pay me. I've basically paid myself minus what's been taking. I confronted her and she replied, even if I did admit it to try and sort things, I don't care about you anymore anyway, so I don't need to. Probably makes sense why she was trying to take a loan out roughly the same time she would have taken the money. So there you have it. I let her stop for a while and this is where it's landed me, her stealing again. Whilst I have no solid proof whatsoever, it could only be her that took it and if everything else got unpacked then she certainly took it. She's now threatening to out me to people for who I really am, a victim of theft I guess, and she'll tell everyone how awful I am and not to bother contacting her. I've thrown her back out again for the very last time and I'm just relieved, not sad at all. While I have no proof her reaction is all the proof I need, now I'm forcing a DNA test at birth and will fight to make sure no child of mine is brought up in a family like hers. She is poison. People like her don't change, they just take more. Wow, OP, yeah, she absolutely sucks and I have to say, I felt bad for you with that first last straw, but the other last straws for you? Come on, man. By the way, I'm not saying you're gullible, but just in case you're looking, I've got a bridge I could sell you. Anyway, OP, I hope you've learned your lesson, I hope you can get that DNA test, and if the child is yours, I hope you can keep him away from those pirates. So on that note, OP, here's wishing you the best in the future. Take care and thank you for sharing. Now, let's finish this video with a mood booster post. This post is from the subreddit Petty Revenge and it's by user Emily1. You are going to have to move if you want my car park. On Friday, I was waiting to pick up my spouse from a medical appointment. He emerges limping and sore from a guided injection in the hip. He slowly gets in the car and tells me how it went. I start the car, put it in reverse and wouldn't you know it, there's a driver who wants this space. Cool. Will they reverse to give me room? No. So I wait for them to move. 
They don't. I wait and they wait. This is also in a busy road and it's angle parking nose in. Still waiting, been over a minute. So I decide we need milk. I turn the car off and tell my spouse to sit tight and let me know what happens. I come back out to him chuckling with a huge grin on his face. I ask the, well? Turns out, impatient Karen blared the horn twice and finally drove forward and realized there was no driver in the car, blares the horn again and sped off. First time I have been this petty for a while. Ah, oh, OP, chef's kiss, loved the pettiness, thank you for sharing. And that's it for today's video, thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. Now, if you've gotten to this point in the video, I assume that you like these stories that I'm reading out, so here are a couple more that you might enjoy. And if you don't have any time to watch another story right now, save it for later, and also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.